White Bear Lake, Minnesota. What the heck is going on on the Wisconsin channel? Why are we in Minnesota today? Well, I was in Minnesota and so I wanted to go to an Iona station and there is one in, in the uh, Twin Cities area. Very new, White Bear Lake, right off of this road, which is 694, which is kind of the loop around Minneapolis and St. Paul. So we're on the north side of St. Paul and uh, we're getting off right here at White Bear Avenue. And um, there is the Iona station that's opening in Janesville. It's under construction. And I think it'll be different than this one uh, as we take a look at it um, in a second. But um, you know, this is the company that's trying to upend uh, charging and make it better, make it uh, just a, a pleasurable experience. And so I wanted to experience that for myself. And also I had never been to a station that had Alpitronic uh, hyperchargers, which are made in Wisconsin. So there's your Wisconsin connection. Let's get charging. Okay, so uh, we are at the Iona in White Bear Lake, Minnesota. First time I've ever been to an Iona station. And um, I'm excited, All right? Let's go. Well, these cables are beastie again they're brand new so it'll work but in a couple of years maybe not all right I'm gonna try to uh, get this started in my car and we're going ripping right along so we came in at 24, 25% and uh, 25%, okay. Well, we're pulling 150 right away. So I had to set this up in the My Chevy app, um, but um, once I did that, it uh, was super easy. So minimal hassle, definitely a thumbs up. Back to the Nana cable. Um, you kind of got to go with it. Um, they're brand new. It wants to, this cable didn't want to go the way I wanted it to go. I would have had to force it. But once I kind of like let it go how it wanted, that was fine. So a thumbs up for Nana Cable as well. Um, amenities, we're in the uh, parking lot of a Culver's. Uh, there's a sports bar in this parking lot too. Uh, we are right off the highway. You can maybe be able to see the trucks and or cars buzzing by. Um, so this is a great location, so amenities, thumbs up. 28%, still pulling 155. We got to fill up, uh, taking a long drive back to Wisconsin uh, today. So only here to visit. Expected speed, I mean, 30% now, and we are ripping away at 155, so, um, yeah, I think uh, what I would say is that uh, people will uh, be excited because this, they have a, the Iona station down in Janesville is almost open. Um, it looks like it may have a canopy or it's just gonna have lights. So I'm not, I'm not sure um, which way from looking at some of the pictures on PlugShare, but um, another, um, probably, I know there's the Tesla super, uh, supercharger down there, but, um, if you don't have a NAX car and you don't want to use an adapter, um, at the Iona station I think will be a great addition. Um, I'll go down there as soon as it opens and uh, we'll, we'll get a visit in. But um, yeah, definitely four thumbs up for this place. 139, so yeah, four for four. Let's take a look around. So I know these are brand new, but this might be, a, the only thing I can hear right now is the traffic going by on the highway. Nothing that would tell me that we're fast charging. Um, normally the machines, the distribution gear is just screaming, but 
Yeah, it is dead quiet here, and uh, it's an interesting experience that I've never had before. Okay, update. So the great thing about these machines is these buttons are, I mean, it gives you instructions. You can go back and down, we'll go home. Active sessions, still pulling 120 at 44%, charging detail. Nice gradual breakdown on the curve. Um, yeah, these, this thing is awesome. Everything that I have heard about the Alpitronic HYC 400s is um, proving to be true on uh, first, first plug. Here's the other thing that may annoy some Minnesota drivers. These machines are made in Appleton. So just like Culver's, another Wisconsin institution invading Minnesota. Thumbs up. I think I've mentioned it on this channel before, but I love the fact that they've got squeegees because Minnesota and Wisconsin in the summer are, uh, if you're traveling on the highway, you are collecting bug guts. But uh, I think you also may have heard that I am a fan. I believe the paper towel ex uh, makes the experience of the squeegee better. So um, no paper towels. Be prepared. Oh my goodness, gradual, that's glorious. 14 minutes in, we've pulled 30 kilowatt hours and we're at 56%, so we're probably about halfway. So there are 10 stalls and they're all labeled quite nicely. One thing that I don't like about some Electrify America and other stations is that sometimes the machines are so close together that people are just grabbing cables from anywhere and you have to then react um, with, you're going to an empty station you think the cable can reach, but you actually have to use the one that's next across the way and uh, so you gotta rearrange your car. Just frustrating, but here everyone is labeled and each of the uh, machines is labeled with the parking spot, so hopefully that eliminates a little bit of confusion. Next, cables. Labels are kind of coming off here. But, yeah. <sighs> 47 cents per kilowatt hour. I didn't even think about that. Let's go down, 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 down. Support. Phone number. Auto charge, plug and charge. That's what we used. No idle fee, no flat fee. So these two have not been used for today is uh, August 2nd. This one hasn't been used for three days. 4A hasn't been used since the 26th, so um, still learning about this station. So yeah, these. Uh, so I'm guessing the NACs. Let's we'll, we'll check the CCS connectors too. But the NACs connectors are reporting the 26th and the 29th. So it's been several days since this machine was used. Which, right now, most cars with NACs are Teslas, and they have their own kind of network. So why would you necessarily come and? charge here unless you're just cutting through. So it makes sense, but uh, I think we're like, they're future-proofing by putting the NACs in here now. 68% still at over 100 kilowatts. Cost detail, sure, let's see. Okay, back. Charging detail. Let's take a look at the uh, CCS numbers here on this machine. Um, they were both used yesterday, last night at just before 10, and yesterday afternoon at 519. Last night and a couple days ago for 3A. It's kind of interesting to see the information uh, where and when you know these were actually used. So I don't have my glasses on, but made in the USA. 
Good luck. On Wisconsin. Starting to come down now, right? We're about half, we're almost half speed that we were at 25%. But we're still averaging 118. Uh, car's now making some noise to try to cool the battery down, which makes sense. That's, it's been cranking full of uh, electrons. Current's down to 247. Voltage still at 330, so that's, that's what happens. Okay, 80%. So we are gonna stop here to be, stop. Really doesn't get much easier than this. Stats, curve. So I will see you at the next charge and hopefully at another Ayana.